Monkey Ass. What is going on, fellas? Monkey Ass Productions here, and we've got the Monkey Ass Mobile. Okay, we're gonna do a walk around video of the Monkey Ass Mobile, okay? I realize it's kind of a strange day to be doing something like this, but I just decided to do it today, okay? So shut the fuck up, okay? We're out here in our bare feet on the ice doing a walk around video because that's what we do over here at Monk Ass Productions. We eat peanut butter and listen to classical music and we walk around in the snow on our bare feet, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna go over some of the mods I did here because let me tell you something. There's a lot of these bikes around, you know, and they're all different what people decide to do with them. And, and you know, I didn't like it when it was stock. I didn't like it at all, but I knew this bike had potential. You know, it was really dorky when it was stock, you know, but we did a lot to it. So, okay, let's start out. Okay, we got the big gun exhaust on here, full exhaust front and back. I really like it. It's really loud. It sounds freaking awesome. It's not just loud. It sounds so badass. I mean, the sound, it doesn't even, the sound doesn't match the bike. It sounds so cool. And we've got the heat wrap on there, the black titanium heat wrap. I did that myself. I don't know shit about wrapping pipes, but I, you know, I wrap my hands, you know, cause I hit the heavy bag and stuff. So I just did it the same way I wrap my hands. Um, so I just got these tires this year. I really like these, man. I really, really like these tires. They're great on the street. They're really sticky and they're not bad in the dirt either. You know, I don't trail right. I don't go in the woods or anything like that, but I go on dirt roads and I go on the grass. Um, we've got the Renthal uh, fat bars here, the CR high bend with the pro taper bar risers. And we've got our camera on the handlebars. Okay. And we've got the, we've got the Makuni 42 millimeter pumper carburetor in there. Uh, much better than the stock carburetor. I, I didn't like the stock carburetor at all. And one thing I love about this carburetor, it allowed us to uh, mount the choke right here, which I think is great. The original carb had the choke run in up to here on the handlebar, which I didn't like. And I'm sure I could have changed it without changing the carburetor. Um, but I, I had an issue with the carb uh, when I put the new exhaust system on. What I did was uh, I actually broke that choke piece because it's like a plastic uh, threaded screw that goes into the carb. I was pretty enraged by it. It was $50 to replace. I said, fuck it, we, you know, we'll get a new carburetor instead. I paid $550 for the Makuni. All right, we've got a Renthal golden chain on there. Really nice. Uh, the bike is super clean right now. That's also why I wanted to make the video. We've got uh, billet aluminum anodized foot pegs. We've got a couple of fancy red plugs in there. I did that on the first oil change. We've also got the primary drive uh, front sprocket 15 tooth 45 on the back. We kept the stock gearing. That is the stock rear sprocket. Uh, I actually wasn't able to get that sprocket off. I have the primary drive rear sprocket. I couldn't get that off. I don't have the proper tools. I couldn't get it off. Uh, what else do we have on here? Uh, you see I've got holes. Oh yeah, the battery mod. I've got all these holes drilled in here. That's because we've got a lithium ion anti-gravity battery sitting in the top of the air box. Um, that was one of the things that bothered me most when I got this bike was the uh, the battery box on the back, man. It was so ugly. I mean, it was so ugly. Like, who the hell? Some people leave that there. Like, that is like the ugliest thing in the world. Like, I don't know why anybody leaves that battery box on. Uh, what else do I have here? The carburetor. Uh, planning on definitely getting rid of this ugly ass tail light. Um, we're going to get the XR600R dual sport kit. Uh, we've got a uh, Trail Tech vapor kit that I haven't installed yet. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing something different with the headlight. Uh, it's not a bad headlight, but uh, I'd like to see, I'd like to get a pair of, uh, you know, double rounds on there. Uh, we may get a new set of wheels eventually. Uh, we we desmogged it. We took out the smog kit. Uh, that was huge as well. Um, this bike's got a lot of balls, man. It's got a lot of balls now. I mean, it's really got some torque. You know, the Makuni carburetor, the exhaust, and and the desmogging really did a lot for this bike. But this is it. This is the monkey ass mobile. This is what we're riding in the summer, in the winter, in the rain. You name it. We're on the monkey ass mobile. All right. 
And that's pretty much it. Any questions, comments, suggestions are all appreciated. I don't care. Even if you want to insult me, that is even entertaining as well. Uh, but that's the bike. Um, and if I do, I probably will end up getting a new set of wheels. And then we'll, we'll put bigger rotors on there for better braking. Uh, I freaking love these tires, man. I really do. They're really nice tires. Um, I didn't want to go for the full supermoto conversion. I don't like the little wheels on this bike. I don't, I don't want to lower the bike either. And I don't want to lose any off-road ability. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Again, questions, comments, insults, all welcome down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let me know, you know, you know, any suggestions for uh, more mods I should do. Um, and like I said, we've got the camera on the handlebars. We do, we use that for the uh, for the moto vlogging. All right, and that's it. Okay, guys, monkey ass.